Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker. It's a guide to cleaner, greener, better for you beauty. I try all these products out for you and share my honest reviews here, keyword honest. So you have a better idea of what to buy and what not to buy, and today I am back with the start of several Brits Picks roundups. So I'm gonna talk about my favorite blushes and bronzers today. And if you know me, if you've been following me, then you understand the love affair that I have with bronzer, but I digress. I have three favorite blushes and three favorite bronzers. If you don't know what Brits Picks is, in a nutshell, out of the thousands of products that I've reviewed, I narrow them down into all of my favorites. It's a short list, usually I try to keep it short, and it's all in one place back on the site, and I update usually quarterly. I've been kind of late because it's been, it's been, it's, it's been. The key thing you might want to know about Brits Picks, no brand can pay to be on it. This is not a paid placement in a world filled with paid placements and stuff like that, fake reviews, things like that. No, that is not what you are getting here. You are always going to get my absolutely honest opinion. Instead of doing it all at once, I've decided to roll it out every week. So you're not only gonna get the products listed by category, because I've listened to you, you guys gave me really good feedback. Um, so you're going to see them by category and you're going to see the best and then you'll also see the products that did not make the cut because sometimes that information just seems to be more helpful. This is what I've heard from you, so thank you for sharing. So how does something become a favorite? I reach for it all the time. It's use, it's loving the company, it's loving what the product is about, it's loving the performance. The ultimate determining factor for me after I've reviewed it and really like the product is whether or not I keep reaching for it. That truly is the way that I do this, and then I compare them to each other. It's a long process, but anyway. It starts with the Tower 28 Beach Please. Sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. Luminous Tinted Balms. These are in Happy Hour and Rush Hour, and I couldn't choose between the two because one is a super bright, kind of magenta-y thing situation. And then the other one has this coral edge to it. I'm wearing both on my lip. I'm wearing rush hour on my eye. Everything that I talk about is going to be a multitasker within these blushes. And these are $20 each right now. I haven't seen them put their prices up a notch, which as we know, inflation everyone's doing. So I'm excited about that. There are seven shades available. I do like the brand. I have received a lot from them. I actually purchased these. There are also no silicones in these formulas. They're pretty decent formula. You can see links to everything that I mentioned and reviews if I have them on the website, the scorecard posts. It's really in depth. So if you want to dive into that, you can do that over there. I would say that these are beautiful shades. They're a little bit on the stickier side to the touch. When they get on the face, they blend in really nicely. But when you first touch it, you're going to notice that kind of little sticky. The payoff is really nice here. It's a little more of a glow with the pigment. So it's a nice natural looking glow. That's pretty much it. These are just really fun and I use them all over the face. Well, not all over the face. Lips, cheeks, eyes, there you have it. Uh, the next blush that I really just, the color was beautiful. I love that there are refills available. It's from Rose Ink and it is their cream blush. Divine Radiant Cheek and Lip Color. I have this in Ophelia. It's a really strong color. I tend to buy strong colors for the channel because then we can really see if the pigment's there. Usually I don't wear those all the time and yet those are the ones that I've been gravitating towards most. I don't know. That's just where I'm at. These are $30, $18 for the refill though. So if you get this container, you can try out all the different shades. And I really want to. Of course, it's going to take me forever to get through this. So I'm not sure how sustainable that actually is, but I like that there's the option. Nine shades available here. In terms of formula, they have a lot of skincare meets makeup. Who doesn't these days? But this brand specifically has that. There is rosemary leaf extract. There's also Capric Triglyceride, which is sometimes a derivative from coconut, sometimes not. Double check with the brand. It's higher on the list, so there's probably gonna be a little bit more of it. If you have super sensitive skin or you're worried about pore clogging, I'm not saying that this is gonna do that. I'm really not, I'm not trying to scare you, but definitely look at the list, inform yourself on these things. Not a cosmetic chemist, I just like to call them out so you know. But this one is all about bold payoff. It feels almost dry to the touch, but it applies really nicely on the skin. So you kind of just warm it up to the touch and then apply and it's wham. It's like really nice, 
strong pigment without any stickiness. It's not drying, but it's not as glossy as I would say the Tower 28 is. Kind of also why I wanted it on here. And then the last is from a smaller brand, an emerging brand, somebody I had on the podcast, Minori Anastasia, and she was just, she's just like good vibes. She's very good vibes. And fascinating history, worked at Ipsy, had tried thousands of products, and because of that, she wanted to do something very minimal. So Minori Beauty Cream Blush. This is her favorite, and so of course, I asked that question and I had to try it. This one is $32. It's in a glass container with a plastic top. So it's the most expensive of the three, but this is the most natural looking of the three. Here are some standout things that I love about this. I should tell you there are two shades available. It is cream to powder. The texture is what gets me. It doesn't feel like powder, but it's like barely there. There's something about it when you try it, like a crazy person like me, if you try hundreds of products, one of the things that I start to really hold onto is texture and how it feels on the skin. None of these sits on top of the skin. They all blend really well, but this I would say looks the most natural on. So if you're not looking for something bold or pigmented and you want something like a natural flush or glow, this is a stunning color. It's a really beautifully done color. If you're gonna take anything away, it's more natural looking. I wear this on the lip and it's sort of like, oh, she's alive. There's some color there, but it's not obvious. You can do this on the eye. You can do that with any product. This one does it oh so no. I don't have any powder blushes. I thought of including them, but then I thought to myself, no, these are your actual picks and your favorites. So if they're not your favorite and you don't reach for them, don't put them on Brit's picks. So it was hard, but I had to have a conversation with myself, which I tend to do, whatever, moving on. Now we're gonna talk about bronzers. There are no cream bronzers. So I got cream blushes, but no cream bronzers. However, there are a couple of contenders that really might be on the updates for Brit's picks soon, because I found a really good brush for them. Anyway, more info coming there, still being tested. We're not sure, that's not to be annoying and giving you a teaser. I'm, I'm truly, truly not sure yet. The three powder bronzers that I have for you, they're my actual favorites. Uh, I have the Han Pressed Bronzer. This is their new bronzer. They sent this to me. Oh, and I also wanna include that my Nori did send this to me under no obligation to feature it here. She did it because of the podcast. So there you go, full transparency here always. But the Han bronzer, it's buttery soft and it's really great packaging. So it's very, very eco-friendly packaging, which I love. I have this in shade Malibu. It is $18, it used to be 16. They've been bumping up their prices, so it's 18. The price and packaging is really strong here, least expensive of the bunch. Here's something interesting about formula. There is no mica or coconut derivatives, like some of them have coconut shell in them. Rice powder, cocoa powder, cocoa butter, and then kaolin is at the very end, which probably is there to not make things too dewy. I don't know, again, not a cosmetic chemist. I just like what it does. Uh, side note, bringing it back to the Tower 28, a lot of what they create, their formulas, they like to pay attention to sensitive skin. So they say it's good for sensitive skin types, but just you still have to check the ingredients for yourself. I just wanted to include that in here. Very easy to apply this. I love a pressed powder for that. If you're kind of nervous about going crazy with the bronzer and putting on too much, this is gonna be your friend if you like a lighter bronze, a more natural looking bronze. I build this up and it builds up really nicely. I don't like just a plain old natural looking bronze. I like a bronze but uh, it is very easy to work with. And finally, there are three shades available, so you've got a couple to work with. I really loved the shade Malibu. It's light, it's cool, it's not shiny, there's no glimmery flex. It looks very natural, like you're not wearing a lot of bronzer or makeup. The next, and I've loved this for a very, very, very long time, and it's been on Brit's Mix before, so I'm just saying, I just really love it. This is from Alima Pure, this is their bronzer. It's a loose powder bronzer. A Little bit harder to control, but you, it's not like that hard control, but you know, it's a little bit harder than a pressed powder. But man, the shade Trinidad, it's the darkest of the three shades. You would think I have fair skin, excuse a little pinky, but um, no, I went with it. A very little bit goes a long way with this. $26 and you get this whole container. I have not put a huge dent in it yet because I use so little. It really kind of lasts quite a long time. Short ingredients list, mica, and then it has some, you know, iron oxides for color. This is zero shimmer. It's actually a matte bronzer, which I prefer because I wear shiny stuff underneath. You know, I wear prep it with moisture, SPF, all this stuff. So I don't need extra shine or glitter. And I have highlighters, so I don't really need it here. But yeah, this color. 
this bronzer. There's just some, like when you when you hit the right color, oof, it's good. So I did that with this. I did that with the Han too. It's just a little bit lighter for the lighter days. Then I'll take you to the next and final favorite bronzer of mine, also a powder. This is a pressed powder bronzer from Lily Lolo, a brand that has just been a mainstay over here since the very beginning for a lot of different reasons. Also $26. This is an incredible shade. It's Honolulu. It's one of the darker shades again. But it's a little bit more subtle. It doesn't, I think also because it's pressed, you don't get as much on the brush, so it's a little bit easier to control. But the payoff is just, it's such a beautiful bronzer. I love, love, love it. This formula has mica first, and it has things like nourishing oils, castor oil, argan oil. So it's a combo platter for the formula. You don't need a lot here either. So if you're kind of comparing between the two and you're looking in the $26-ish price range, if you want something a little bit easier to control and you're not looking for intense pigment, you can get it with Lily Lolo, but you build a little bit more. But if you want that, then ugh, the Malima Pure is so good. It's just so good. I would really love to know what are the blushes and bronzers that you are loving right now. What are your go-to favorites that you pick up every day, every week? Leave them in the comments below and let us know why you like them so much. Next, you'll see the bronzers that didn't make the cut. If you want to get a jump on that, you can do so by checking out the reviews over here or you can search all of the reviews back on the website. Links to that will be below. And then the next category that I will be covering will be cleansers. I haven't really done a lot of reviews Reviews here, so it's gonna be kind of new to you. You wouldn't have seen these yet. See you right back here for more honest reviews real soon. Until then, bye.